parameterized equations are particularly useful for directed line segments when you want to have an x equals y equals equation using a parameter t. And the way we're going to do this is using this note from class for how you deal with directed line segments. And what we're going to do is make two equations, an x equation and a y equation, using things about the segment that are given to us. Now, I, I want to take a step back for just a moment and answer why does this work. Now, if you're not interested in why this equation works, skip ahead a minute. I'll be done with the explanation by then. But just take a look at this. If t equals 0, look at what this equation becomes. It becomes x equals x naught, the initial position, plus x minus x naught times t equals 0. So this whole part goes away. In other words, when t equals 0, x equals x naught. Okay, how about t equals 1? Let's see about this one. Now x equals x naught plus x minus x naught times 1. Or in other words, x equals x naught plus x minus x naught. Now the x naughts cancel out, so you just get x equals x. Okay, so it's, it's really a very, very basic equation. And now that you're comfortable with that, let's just... Uh, no, nope, let's not do that. Let's, let's get rid of all this. Okay, and we'll go on to the actual solving of this problem. So, what are x0, y0, x1, and y1? Well, they're given to us right here. Okay, so x0 equals 1, and y0 equals 6. And let me just switch colors. There's our other line segment. x0 equals negative 1. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that's not x0, that's x1. And y1 equals negative 2. Now, it is important where you're starting this line segment, because if you use the wrong point, then you'll have a line segment that's going backwards. It'll still be the same line, it's just the direction, the orientation of the line will be wrong. So let's keep those points a little clear in our minds. And now we set up our equations. x equals x0 plus x1 minus x0 times t. Okay, so what does that become? x equals, well, what's x0? That's 1 plus, and what's x1? Uh, that's negative 1 minus x0 again is 1, t. So if we simplify this, it looks like this is going to become negative 2t plus 1. Okay, that's our equation for x. And now we're going to do the same thing for y. I'm going to take my equation, y equals y0 plus y1 minus y0 um, times t. Okay, And now we plug in the numbers we know. So y0 is 6 from earlier. y1 is negative 2. y0, I just said it, is 6 times t. So this becomes y equals, let's see, negative 8t plus 6. Okay, so there are your two equations in um, parameterized form.